Well, hey guys, I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft. Thanks for joining me for another video. Over the course of the next couple of days, we're going to be working on this turtle shell project. A buddy of mine was out uh, doing a little scouting, uh, getting ready for hunting season, and found this turtle shell out laying in the woods. It's dirty. We're going to wash it, bleach it, clean it up, pull the rest of these scales off of the top of it here, and get this thing processed up. And I think what I'm going to do with this is make a turkey call out of it. Don't see a lot of people making these anymore. I think it'll be an interesting project. So stay with me over the next couple of days. We'll see if we can't turn that into a usable turkey call. Okay, on with our turtle shell project. The first thing we've done is we've taken a brush here and just used some dishwashing liquid and we've washed that out the best we can. Now I'm just going to take some liquid bleach and I'm going to pour all over top of this shell and inside of it and just make sure that I coat this thing very good. Now look, a word of caution when you're doing this. This turtle shell, unsupported at this bottom, is very brittle and all it would take is a little too much action there and uh, squeezing it on either side and you could really mess that thing up, crack it and then uh, it would be useless for our project. So use caution while you're handling this turtle shell. Now after this bleaches, we're going to set it up and let it dry and we'll do it as many times as we need to get all that green mold and uh, have that turn a nice shade of bone white. Okay, after being bleached and cleaned, I've got it sitting outside in my garage, which is climate controlled. We'll leave it sitting there on this paper towel and we'll Repeat that process as many times as we need to to clean off any mold, mildew, dirt, anything that could be growing on that shell. Okay, so let's talk about working with, with the slate for just a minute. Now this right here, this stuff is ideal. This is the piece of an old uh, chalkboard. This is some slate floor tile and you could also use slate like was used on a roofing uh, shingle also. Rocks that are found out in the wild, I understand. I personally have not had any experience with it. That You can lay it up on its edge and see the grain. Take a large knife and put on top and baton it and hit it and break off slices like this. The stuff that I have found, I guess, has been freeze fractured and I haven't had any luck at that. But you can also buy these blanks that are turkey calls that are made for... They're pieces of slate that are already cut out for making turkey calls is what I'm trying to say. But if you have a large piece of slate like this, uh, the way you work with it is you simply get you a straight edge and get you an old knife or something with a good point to it and you're going to score this thing and then just keep scoring it until you've got a good trench going across there. Put it on the edge and snap it and you can break it down into these smaller pieces. Now, once you want to start working out a shape, I like to take it and try to uh, trace out, once again, just scratching it with a good sharp point and get me an, a basic outline a little bit larger than what I want to actually produce. And then these are side cutting, side cutting tin snips. And what you do is you just come on here and you just slowly start nipping this away. And I know what you're going to say, this looks crazy, and I thought it was too, uh, that you can actually cut. But you can't just take off through the center of it. You have to gently start working around the edges and not take too much of a bite at one time and just nip that stuff away. And you can get it to the shape of whatever you want. Now the first turkey call that I made out of a turtle shell we cut this so that it fit down inside the turkey shell. It came out to be a great call and very beautiful. But I wanted to do something that was a little bit more rustic, something that you would possibly do if you were out in a wilderness situation. So this time I traced out the top of the shell and we just mounted it on top with some glue. Now I use liquid nail, but you could use a different type of a natural glue if you wanted to. Well, that was a quick tutorial on how to cut this slate. I uh, realized that uh, when I got ready to make this video, I had lost this portion and I thought it was important and we definitely needed to cover that. Just uh, go slow. 
All right, guys, after several days of delay because of the weather, it was just too cold to get outside and paint. I'm going to show you what we ended up with. Now, the, um, the slate is glued to where it matches the edge of the turtle shell all the way around, and I glued this one on top rather than setting it inside. So because of that, I have taped up this edge here all the way around because this slate is very porous. You want to make sure you don't get any paint at all on this slate. And I've also taken the outside and made a pattern and got some aluminum foil and put that on the inside to try to reduce the amount of paint that I get on the inside. And now we're just going to give this a quick coat of paint. And, uh, you know, you can use any paint you like. I don't know. I've only done a couple and I've used some of this high heat paint that I've got around the house. But you need to coat your turtle shell with something because it's uh, very porous and you need something on there to protect it i find that black works pretty well as far as the camouflage and all so anyway shoot you a good amount in there and then start putting coats of paint on the uh, shell on the outside remember it's better to have a lot of light coats than it is one big thick heavy one Also, don't forget, I mentioned it earlier, this turtle shell is very fragile until you get that bottom back on it. So use a lot of caution when you're handling this thing. And now that you're painting it, especially since it's so cold, you want to make sure you don't put too much paint on it at one time. So we'll let that go and let that dry, and I'll show you the end product. See if I can close up on that. Should have brought you in a little bit closer while I was doing that. But there she sits. Okay, so here's our finished product after painting. I had to move inside. The sun and the shadows were just absolutely killing me. But there's our finished turtle shell. And once we pull the tape off the other side, there we go. Now, I will give you a little bit of advice here. I did have to use a little bit of um, scotch Brite. Uh, to clean that up where the tape had set on the slate. You can use a, uh, a sanding block. Uh, that works pretty good if you've got some glue on the edges. Uh, I even use a little bit of steel wool on the outside, but actually the scotch Sprite pad seems to work the best. So now, let's see how she sounds real quick. Now this is with your typical striker here. Okay, just an idea. So what if you didn't have that? Well, how about just a piece of oak dowel? All right. And how about just a stick, a piece of sycamore? So anyway, a couple different sounds out of it, but the turtle shell is a pretty unique call. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this little journey as we built this turkey call out of a turtle shell. It's a pretty good project and I'm pretty proud of it. You don't see a whole lot of them anymore because it is a pretty unique call. But I enjoyed bringing this to you. Until next time, I'm Tim Lanks with Red Dog Bushcraft. God bless y'all.